almost every dog owner that I meet likes to give me a list of all the things that they've taught their dog. They've taught their dog sit pretty and shake and sit. One of the things that they typically list as a skill is they make their dogs wait to be released before they eat and they make their dogs wait five or ten seconds. I don't know if dog owners actually understand what it is that they're practicing there, but they're practicing impulse control. And it's a great thing to practice. It's desperately needed in the dog world. But five to ten seconds of impulse control once or twice a day doesn't really equate into real life. I want you to think of it this way. Five to ten seconds of impulse control over food maybe will translate into five to ten seconds of impulse control before they attack the squirrel or they run after the child or they bolt out the front door. Five to ten seconds really doesn't buy us much. So it's better to not only increase the duration of impulse control that we ask from our dogs, but also to increase the frequency that we ask for impulse control from our dogs. So for instance, in our board and train program, we have dogs practice impulse control during play. So we might play fetch with them. We might throw the ball two or three times and then tell them to down and throw the ball three or four times for the other dog and then tell that dog to down. And this dog gets to go again for two or three throws and then the other dog. It's a lot of repetitions. We might also take the dog out into public and we might just sit and watch for two hours. We might watch the kids play soccer for two hours. We might watch the dogs play in the park for two hours. That's creating two hours of impulse control, which is going to help the dog really understand the time and place, learning how to turn all of that excitement or possibly even aggressive behavior on and off with a switch or a cue and learn how to make it part of your daily life. So don't settle for five or 10 seconds, work up to hours of impulse control in certain circumstances so you can start transferring that over to real life.